morning, Richmond High. Today is Monday, February 3rd. I'm Annalise Serrano. Y mi nombre es Claudia Calderón. And we're here to bring you Richmond High Weekly News. Sign up to buy your prom tickets. Talk to Mr. Mar or the senior class officers for more information. Seniors, the prices of prom are 120, so make sure you have your tickets ready to buy your tickets. Contact the senior class officer for more information. Students, class of 2020 will be hosting a bailet fundraiser and dance on Valentine's Day. There will be a live banda. Tickets are on sale now for $20 and will be $30 at the door. Hope to see you all there. Estudiantes, hay un baile del día de San Valentín. Habrá banda en vivo. Los boletos cuestan $20 y $30 a la puerta. Espero verlos ahí. Spring sports trials are almost here. First day of practice is February 10th, but we already know some clubs who are already in conditioning. Interested in signing up for these sports? See Coach Hudson, Coach Jaywon, and Coach Benson for more information. Si estás interesado en deportes de primavera, consulta a señor Hudson, Shema o Benson. Spoilers! Have you heard students and teachers talking about the school being rebuilt? Did you know that voters are making that big decision this month? We sent out our team of journalists to research the measure and find out what people think. Take a look! Talking about building a new Richmond High, how we want new windows, and a new building to help us feel inspired to learn? Well, people in March are voting to make that a possibility. We're here to talk about Measure R. Measure R is a construction bond that would approve a $575 million plan to raise taxes in order to build, repair, and upgrade facilities in school. As a journalism class, we have investigated both the pros and the cons of this measure. We, the students who live in the districts and the families who live in the neighborhood, are the ones who are majorly affected by this vote. We want everyone to be informed before making their decision. The good thing about Measure R is that the money granted would go to rebuilding schools across the district. There were many schools without air conditioning, updated technology, and state facilities for student learning. Approving the measure would begin to address these issues. This measure also could build new art facilities and new health centers. It seems the measure R is completely beneficial to the community. However, some people are concerned about gentrification. All over Richmond you see new developments. New school, new facilities could potentially bring new communities. An increase in tax can push low-income families that are already struggling with financial hardships out of Richmond. Our enrollment is increasing each year and these students deserve the best. Many people in the community believe that investing in quality schools is worth it. They see this issue as an equity issue. How is it that other schools have updated buildings and West Contra Costa students do not? Every child in this district deserves a safe and modern facility that inspires learning. Although we all believe that students deserve these upgrades, this is not free money. The money is coming from taxpayers in Richmond, 70% of which are low income. 70% of West Contra Costa Unified School District families are experiencing financial hardships. This measure would expect families to pay $20 every month on top of other expenses they are already struggling to manage. I don't want to be an actor. Oh, it's Mike! Oh. I thought it was clipped to my pants. It's loud outside, hold on. It will be the majority of <laughs> Sorry, it's just like written. <laughs> God, that's not the majority. I'm sorry. $575 million, million plan to raise dollars. It's because it has a dollar sign in front. Oh. Um, if I were to rebuild Richmond High to my vision, I would have two stories and bigger hallways. That way there's more room for everybody to get around. That way we're not all crammed up in the same area. And then I would also ask for windows because it's getting sad up in here. Yo, another bathroom stinks. Oh. Also like probably like maybe another hallway for more classes. 
si reconstruyeran la escuela sería bueno que cambiaran las cafeterías y que pusieran diferentes tipos de comida porque así algunos estudiantes se animarían a comer. If I had the opportunity to change, to rebuild the school, I would make it more modern. With new technology, it would make me feel like I have more opportunities and more new resources for me to learn. Um, I would change the cafeteria, make it bigger, and I would add more trash cans for sure, and then the locker room bigger, because it will make more students come to, in, to the school and want to come to class more and come to school more. because like you can like create ideas and just have fun with like yeah just have fun with your ideas and like you can express yourself and like yeah and no homework you know, homework, you know, you know, you know me? Yeah. if you want to be an anchor you should join the broadcast journalism class i didn't think i would be able to do it but here i am today. even if you think you're camera shy this class is still for you there are plenty of opportunities for students to work behind the scenes. You should join broadcast journalism in order to be creative in your own way and communicate with others with videos. And you can also act in videos too so the whole school knows you. In my experience, I was able to talk with more people and engage more in groups and teams. journalism if you like going about more of our community. You should join journalism if you like to learn about new people and make new friends. Interviewing people is really fun. Trust us. <laughs> you should join journalism because you can learn many different things like learn about fake news, how to properly interview somebody, and possibly get like internships for reporting and stuff like that. One reason you should join journalism because it's just a way you can express yourself, like truly express yourself in many like various ways. One reason you should join journalism is so you could have your voice heard throughout your community, such as podcasts, um, newsletters, or even photography. Oh, you you journalism. Journalism. <laughs> that was so bad. Come on, you to join journalism. Join journalism. Good morning, Richmond High. Oh God, dang it. Good morning, Richmond High. It is Monday, February 3rd, and these are your morning now. Oh, God. No, I say my name first. <laughs> Good morning, Richmond High. It's... Uh, today is... Good morning, Richmond High. Today is February... Monday. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's your first time to <laughs> That's our show for today. Tune in next week for Richmond High's weekly news. Adios, Adios Richmond, Richmond High. High.